Miss Charmles, please show us the Argon Heart you obtained. Why, it's enormous! I've never seen such a big Argon Heart before. It must be the biggest in the history of the initiation. He must have slain quite an Argon Lizard to get a heart of that size. Prince Charmels, present the Argon Heart, symbol of your bravery and worthiness to King Clavius. No. Wait. Charmels, do you swear before the Almighty Goddess that you obtained this Argon Heart from an Argon Lizard slain by your own hand? Uh, of course, Father. Because even if, for example, you were assisted by others in battle, I would still recognize your claim to the throne. But if you obtained it by any other means, I could not recognize your right to the throne. Is that... Yes, of course. I fought the lizard with my own hands, and a frightful beast it was too. Very well. Then I congratulate you. I accept this Argon Heart as proof of your true character. My son, take an Argon Heart from one of the merchants. Did you even take him to the Royal Hunting Ground? I saw everything from up here. You must tell me the truth. Out with it! I see. So this is the Argon Heart he obtained with your help. Why didn't he simply show it to me? I would not have cared about the size. I fear this means Charmels is far too immature to take the throne or a wife. However, that is a matter between Charmels and myself. You did a fine job in taking him to the Royal Hunting Ground. The Magic Mirror is in the Royal Vault on the fourth floor. You are free to take it whenever you wish. I have already instructed the guards to admit you. And I will take this Argon Heart. It might prove useful when I need to remind Charles of his foolhardiness.
brought the magic mirror, if I'm not mistaken. May I have a look? Hmm, that's odd. I don't sense any magic at all. Bereft of its magic power, it's no different from a normal, everyday mirror. Could someone have snuck in and tampered with the mirror while it slumbered in the royal vault? No, surely not. Nevertheless, even without its magic, the mirror remains a priceless royal treasure. What's that? The magical power of the mirror is central to your errand, you say? I see, I see. Let me think. The mirror itself does not appear to be damaged. In which case, you should be able to recharge the mirror, so to speak, by exposing it to the right kind of magic. That would restore its former power. The man who taught me was a wizard and an expert in magical treasures. I'm sure he would know how to re-energize the mirror. Unfortunately, he is retired. Now he spends his days in seclusion in his home deep in the western forest. 